Hi everyone, my name is Dennis Sirisena, and today we're going to be talking about injections to the medial aspect of the elbow. So just as a reminder, when undertaking injections or imaging of the medial aspect of the elbow, you can have the patient lying supine with the arm externally rotated. You can have them sitting opposite to you with the arm resting on the examination couch or you can have them lying prone with their arm tucked behind their back. This latter position is most stable and sometimes most comfortable for the patient, and it means that your images will hopefully be that much more stable as well. When scanning in these positions, this is the orientation of your transducer. You can see that it's always in a long axis to start with, and then depending on what you're scanning for, you may adjust it accordingly. And this is what you should see the medial epicondyle with the common flexor origin overlying, the medial joint line with the medial collateral ligament overlying, and the ulna distally. When undertaking the injections, it's useful to orientate the needle in a distal to proximal orientation. Depending on which structure you're aiming for, you may need to angle the needle slightly more shallower or deeper accordingly. And these are the three areas that you might be aiming for. First of all, the common flexor origin. If you're aiming for a PRP injection, you might use a fenestration technique. Or for the steroid, you may put the steroid overlying the common flexor origin. For the medial collateral ligament, let's say you're doing a prolotherapy or a steroid injection. So for the former, you might again use a fenestration technique. And for the latter, you might put the steroid over the medial collateral ligament. And then finally, for the joint line. For this, if you're doing a PRP injection or a steroid injection, you'll be aiming directly into the joint itself. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video informative and it adds to your knowledge of musculoskeletal ultrasound and interventions. If you did, please remember to hit the like down below and subscribe to the channel for further updates. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And also remember to check out sportsmedinfo.sg. Thanks for watching again, and I hope to see you all very soon.